Brenda got forty dollars from from the ATM. She spent fifteen dollars and eleven cents on a pair of earrings. So how much money does she have left? So if you start with forty dollars and then you spend fifteen dollars, you should have less money, right? So all you have to do for this one is take the forty bucks and make that bigger. Subtract it by the fifteen dollars and eleven cents. And a calculator is okay by me. So forty subtracted by fifteen eleven. 24.89. So Emily bought a box of cereal that cost four dollars twenty nine cents. Coupon for fifty five cents off, and the store doubled the coupon. So let's first find out how much money um, Emily gets to save. We had a fifty cent coupon, but it gets doubled, so times two. So point five five times two that gives us a dollar and ten cents that we're saving. So Emily is going to get to buy it for $4.29 less the dollar ten cents that we get because the store doubled the coupon. So $4.29 subtracted by $1.10, that's $3.19. And then at their favorite fast food restaurant, the Carlson family orders four burgers. That cost uh, $3.29 each. And two orders of fries at two dollars seventy four cents each. So what's the total cost of your order? So there's four times three dollars twenty nine cents. That's a quicker way instead of doing three twenty nine plus three twenty nine plus three twenty nine, right? So this is the cost for all the burgers and then the cost for all the fries here. I didn't put the dollar symbol. But I think you get the idea, right? That's two dollars seventy four cents there. So we can multiply first. Four times three dollars twenty nine cents gives us thirteen dollars sixteen cents. And then two times two dollars seventy four cents gives us five dollars forty eight cents. So if we add those together, eighteen dollars sixty four cents for this meal.